Tonight, the investigation in the search of two missing friends from Temple moves 300 miles north to Oklahoma. Yeah, police believe that two bodies found in a rural town 80 miles east of Oklahoma are that of 28-year-old Jenna Scott and 32-year-old Michael Swearingen, both of which were seen last on January 3rd. That's right. Now, here's a timeline of the events that unfolded. On January 3rd, the two friends were last seen in Temple, and two days later, the next weekend, their car was found in East Austin. And just revealed today, on January 9th, Temple investigators got a tip that led them to Oklahoma. The following weekend, January 12th, family of Jenna Scott launched a search party in Temple to find any clues about the missing friends. And today, two bodies were found in Oklahoma. Fox 44's Maribel Santiago joining us live now in the newsroom with a look at what's unfolded in the last 24 hours. Maribel. Well, Robert Leslie, we heard from Temple Police saying that they believe these bodies are that of Swearingen and Scott and family just saw them 12 days ago. For more than two weeks now, family, friends, and investigators have been searching for two friends, 28-year-old Jenna Scott and 32-year-old Michael Swearingen, both from Temple. Wednesday, Temple Police got a tip that would break the investigation open. Detectives were led to Afuski, Oklahoma, and that is when detectives asked the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation to help. Today, investigators found two bodies at a home in Clearview, Oklahoma, a small town about an hour east of Oklahoma City. Nobody appears to be living at the home where the bodies were found, but police don't believe it's been completely abandoned. Investigators believe the two bodies are of Scott and Swearingen, but Temple Police says it is up to Oklahoma State Medical Examiner to determine a positive identification. Family and friends taking to social media tonight. Swainjin's fiance saying, quote, missing him every single second of the day. I love you, Michael. A friend who created a support page to find the friends expressing their concerns about Scott's temporary protective order filed last year against her boyfriend, Cedric Marks. The post says, quote, I am broken and angry and plan to do something productive with these feelings, praying that our justice system doesn't fail us again in the prosecution of the ones involved in this case. Now, Scott's ex-boyfriend, Cedric Marks, is currently in the Kent County Jail on burglary charges. Now, it is not known if he is connected in this homicide at all. Coming up at 930, however, we'll tell you some of the connections made with Marks in another person's missing case. Live in the newsroom, Maribel Santiago, Fox 44 News.